Okay, now um, this question. Objects P and Q of masses 2 kg and 4 kg respectively are connected by a light string and suspended as shown in the figure. Object Q is released from rest. Calculate the speed of Q just at the instant uh, no, at the instant just before it strikes the floor. Uh, that means before it strikes the floor, it is moving. Yeah? It is not the velocity after landing. Okay? It's not the velocity after landing. Okay? So velocity just before landing. Velo velocity just before landing. That means still have velocity. Okay? Now, uh, look at here. Um, uh, initially, object Q is from rest. Uh, he said from uh, for a second. Okay, initially the object Q is rest. Huh? So that means it has no kinetic energy initial. Uh, we can imagine this as the initial condition. Okay, let me also draw out the final condition for you. Uh, this is the one. Yeah, I draw it for you. Okay, so uh, after Q have fall down, okay, P is being pulled up. Uh, so first of all, we must identify what kind of uh, energy uh, exists for initial condition and also the final condition. Okay, let's us uh, okay before this we are going to use because we see the question he didn't say got any loss of energy, isn't it? Any loss of energy, no loss of uh, uh, energy in the form of heat. So this is conservation of mechanical energy. Ah, uh, okay. We use this uh, conservation of mechanical energy. Uh, so that means the total initial energy is the total final energy. Uh, tot I mean total initial mechanical energy equal to total final mechanical energy because there's no energy loss, uh, no change or other form of energy. The energy just maintained in the form of potential and kinetic energy. Okay, now this is our initial condition and this is our final condition. First, look at initial condition. What kind of energy it exists? Okay, so um, Q, it released from rest, so no kinetic energy at first. So it only has potential energy. So we can say it only has potential energy. Okay, and then um, how about the, uh, how about this, uh, you know, the block P. Block P also not moving yet, uh, also no potential energy. So it only has, uh, it doesn't have any energy. Uh, so the only energy is only the block Q. Uh, block Q has potential energy, no kinetic energy. Now, after it fall down, block Q has lost all the potential energy. Uh, it has lost all the potential energy, not, but it gains the kinetic energy. Uh, so the block, block Q now, block Q now gain all the kinetic energy. Okay. Uh, no potential energy. How about this uh, block P? Uh, block P, he gain, uh, he gain potential energy because it go up, isn't it? He go up. This one fall down 2 meter. This one should go up also 2 meter. Uh, should be the same height, isn't it? Uh, how, much, how much block Q go down must be how much the block P go up. So block P go up 2 meter also. So uh, he also gain potential energy, right? Potential energy. But at the same time, at the same time, just before uh, block Q landed, okay, block Q has velocity downward, block P also has velocity upward. Yeah? Both of them are moving together. Both of them should have the same, same final velocity. Uh, block P and block Q should have the same final velocity. So, not only block Q has the kinetic energy, block P also has the kinetic energy because it's still moving. Understand or not? It gaining potential energy, it also gain kinetic energy. Uh, because it, why it gain kinetic energy? Because it's being pulled by block Q. Uh, both of them should share the same final velocity. Uh, so here we also write uh, UP plus KP. Uh, yeah? Block P also has kinetic energy. Many people neglect the kinetic energy of block P. Okay, now write it down over here. Yeah? So initial, initial energy is just the um, block Q potential energy. So initially no kinetic energy, zero. So it's just the, uh, we can say potential energy of block Q. We can straight away write it as a MGH, uh, MGH uh, Q. 
uh, all right, maybe uh, never mind. Just uh, put it as a potential energy of Q equal to. Okay, finally, block Q. Uh, block Q has no more potential energy, but block P has potential energy. Okay, so we can write it as a uh, UP. Yeah, uh, potential energy of block P gain. Uh, poten uh, block P gain potential energy, and then block P and Q also gain kinetic energy. Uh, you also gain kinetic energy. Uh, block P gain kinetic energy. Block Q also gain kinetic energy. Ah, uh, okay. Do you see that? Uh, potential energy. Uh, this initial has potential energy of Q only, and then finally, uh, block P has the potential energy and also kinetic energy. Uh, block Q of course got kinetic energy. So that's it. Uh, so we now we uh, substitute uh, the formulas. Okay. So uh, mg, okay, look at initial, mg, uh, this one is using what, uh, okay, of course, uh, this is mass q, so mass q is, uh, look at this one, uh, this is mass p and this is mass q, okay, so uh, we know that potential energy is mgh, uh, you just use the formula mgh, kinetic energy is half mv square, okay. Uh, so we remember this one. So now we apply this formula. Okay. Uh, so um, block Q, block Q. It has the mass, mass. Uh, you use mgh for the potential energy. So mass Q is four kilogram. So it's four kilogram multiply g. Yeah, using the formula mgh. Uh, so the h is uh, two meter. Yeah, two meter height. And then how about the potential energy for block P? Uh, finally, yeah, look at final. Final block P has potential energy. So also use MGH. MGH, so apply um, uh, mass P is 2 kilogram. So 2 multiply G. What's the height? Uh, block P gain a height of 2 meter. 2 meter. Okay, that's the uh, for potential energy. Now kinetic energy of block P, we use half mv square formula, half mv square. So uh, the mass of, of course, mass of uh, P. So uh, mass of P. So we put this as uh, two kilogram. Okay, uh, mass of P is two kilogram. Now velocity. Uh, yeah, we need to find the velocity. Uh, velocity. Yeah, plus and then kinetic energy of Q. Uh, kinetic energy of Q. Uh, half mv square. So the mass of Q. Uh, mass of Q is. Uh, 4 kilogram. Uh, so we put 4 kilogram here. 4 kilograms V square. Uh, so you know block uh, block P block P and block Q should have the same velocity. Uh, same velocity. So we just find the velocity here, yeah? Uh, before that, uh, just simplify first. So this one uh, 8G. Uh, this one, this is 8 times gravity, uh, not 8 gram. Uh. Uh, yeah? And then this one is uh, uh, 4 gravity. And then here we have v square plus this one is um, 2 v square. Okay, so we here we get a uh, 4 times gravity, and here is a uh, 3 v square. 3 3 v square. Uh, 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay, so what is the v? Uh, let's let's calculate that. What's the v? Yeah, what's the v? Let's calculate. Okay, so I got uh, the answer V is a uh, 3.62, 3.62, okay, 3.62 meter per second, uh, that's the velocity, 3.62, uh, okay, that's the velocity, so uh, that's the velocity of Q and P, yeah, that's the velocity of Q and P, they have the same velocity, same final velocity, so that's correct, yeah, 3.62, that's correct. Okay, 